Coming up, I'm going to be talking about a sequel to Rio plus a brand new Full Monty series being created by FX and much more. But before we get into any of that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on DisneyPlus.com. It's Thursday, it's time to jump into some of today's big Disney Plus news. Let's start off with the simplest one. If you're in the UK and Ireland, you've got a brand new episode from the sixth season of This Is Us. So we're getting new episodes every Thursday a few days later than they've been released in the US and this is also shared with Amazon Prime Video. Moving on from there the big news really was we've got an update on 20th Century Studios making a new animated movie um, based on the Rio franchise. So this is going to be the third one and we've already got the first two some of them which are available um, on Disney Plus depending on where you live. So this movie was originally kind of rumoured a couple of years ago along with an Ice Age movie about Buckwild which obviously is coming to Disney Plus later this month. But in some production notes for the Ice Age movie it confirmed that one of the co-writers for the upcoming Rio film will be Jim Hart. And this is the first official confirmation that their new Rio film is in development for Disney Plus. He's also working on the upcoming animated Night at the Museum film for Disney Plus as well. We don't yet know when this one is going to be coming to Disney Plus. It might be a while off. You know, they've not made any mention to it. I think it might be interesting to see how this is done. Rio was um, a big success when it first came out in 2011. It had a sequel, but we've really not seen anything of that since. I definitely feel like sort of animated movies on Disney Plus from these franchises. That's something that they can just continue to roll out. Um, it's nice to have official confirmation because we literally have heard nothing about this project in nearly two years. So it's always great to hear that kind of information. It's always great to get official confirmation, but would you like to see a new Rio movie on Disney Plus? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. We've also got a quick update on the upcoming Agatha House of Harkness Disney Plus series, which is set to come to Disney Plus at some point in the future. We now know, according to Production Weekly, that filming is set to begin in October of 2022. Um, so it's gonna be a while off until it arrives on Disney Plus. I mean, I would imagine maybe for Halloween or so next year. Um, great to see this one kind of slowly building up. I mean, as I said, it'll be a while until we hear more about it because they literally only announced the series back at Disney Plus Day in November. Filming is going to be done down in Atlanta, Georgia, which is where most of the Marvel films and Disney Plus series such as Loki, Falcon and the Winter Soldier and WandaVision are filmed. I'm really looking forward to this brand new series. Uh, just more of Agatha is always a good thing. You really can't go too wrong with that one. But let me know if you're excited about this in the comments below. We also got a quick update on Only Murders in the Building Season 2. During an interview that Deadline did with Martin Short, he confirmed that Shirley MacLaine and also Amy Swimmer will be appearing in the series, along with confirmation that Nathan Lane will be returning as Teddy Demas in the upcoming second season. We don't yet know when the second season will be arriving on Hulu in the US and on Disney Plus around the world. That's because they've only just started filming episodes 3 and 4 of the series. They managed to do the first two episodes before Christmas. Um, I wouldn't imagine it'll be too far off where we saw it last year but this has been a huge success um, for the Disney Plus and Hulu with this show it's just been a huge one and they recently also got a number of SAG nominations as well I'm um, just continuing to build on the momentum that this series has really looking forward to seeing the second season but let me know what you think of all of this in the comments below Searchlight Pictures has announced it has acquired the worldwide rights to the legendary entertainment film Fresh which is directed by Mimi Cave and it will star Daisy Egger Jones who has recently starred in Normal People it will also star Savannah Sebastian Stan, who obviously you know from Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and it will be shown for the first time at the Sundance Film Festival next week. It's going to be released on Hulu on March the 4th, and then it will be released internationally on Star Plus in Latin America, and in Disney Plus in all other territories in the spring. The film follows Noah, who is played by Daisy, who meets the alluring Steve, who's going to be played by Sebastian Stan, at a grocery store, and giving her frustration with dating apps, takes a chance and gives him her number. After the first date, she is smitten and accepts Steve's invitation to a romantic weekend getaway, only to find that he's been hiding some unusual appetites. It's great to see Searchlight Pictures picking up movies like this, and we're starting to see the trend, you know, that they're putting these smaller films out on their streaming platforms, and it's just great, I think, that we've had full confirmation of where it's going, so we know it'll be on Hulu in the US, and as I said, Disney Plus everywhere else. But yeah, so this one should be a lot of fun. Um, Sebastian Stan is just so cool in everything he does, so I definitely want to see how this one works. And the idea that... Um, I'm guessing he might like eating people, but who knows? We'll obviously have to wait until we uh, see a bit more on this film. Hopefully maybe some trailers and stuff pretty soon if it's going to be shown at the Sundance Festival next week. To tie in with the release of Marvel Studios Eternals on Disney Plus this week, Disney Plus has added two brand new avatars 
into the app, so you can just go into your profile settings and you can now choose Cersei or Icarus. It's always great to see these kind of characters, although they didn't do all of them, but hopefully they might add them on a little bit later on. But it's always nice to have some different options when you go inside of the Disney Plus. And just let me know, are you gonna be changing your picture to either one of these? I'd love to hear your thoughts below. And finally, it has been confirmed that Disney's FX Productions and Searchlight Pictures are working on a brand new series, which is a continuation of The Full Monty. So Searchlight Pictures originally released this movie years ago. It's all about a group of unemployed people in um, the north of the UK, and they basically become strippers, and it's the whole thing. And we've seen loads of kind of stage shows and like celebrities doing all these kind of bits and pieces since then. But we're going to kind of see this continuation of the characters into what happened next. And um, we don't yet know when it's going to be coming. A lot of the people from the original movie are involved, including um, the writer and also the producer. We've also got some of the original actors coming back, including Robert Carlyle. Um, this one look could be a lot of fun. Um, the filming is going to be taking place obviously in the UK. Don't you know where it will be arriving? I suspect it will be on FX and Hulu in the United States. And then we'll find it on Disney Plus internationally. But more stuff from FX is always cool. And um, whether or not we needed the continuation of the full Monty, I don't know. But it's definitely going to be, I think, a big hit when it arrives, especially here in the UK. Because that movie is, was such a huge success when it came out. Let's talk now. Um, I did a quick poll earlier today and I asked you what did you watch on Disney Plus first? Did you watch the book of Boba Fett or channels? Very clearly everyone watched the book of Boba Fett first which was the same for me. I watched that when it came out first thing in the morning. And then last night I watched The Eternals. But as per usual guys, go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow and subscribe. And I shall see you guys in another video. Laters. I'd like to thank all of our Patreon and YouTube channel members for their support. You can become a member from as little as $2 a month and you get access to our weekly Q&A and much more.